Let's have a look now at aligning components. We have a new general aligning components drawing. I've already added it to the project for you here. Right click though and always just quickly check the properties. Make sure that your sheet number's right and so on and so forth. It's always worth checking that. Check that the properties are right. And if the drawing isn't already linked to the project, make sure that it is linked to the project using the add active drawing. So in this case, you'd go to the project, right click and add the active drawing. It's already added. So as you can see, add active drawing is grayed out in this instance. So we're in our aligning components drawing. I'm going to zoom in on these relays here, these relay switches. There we are, like so. And what I want to do is align all of them in line with RAM01 right there. Now, before I do that, I want to show you the two instances of where the align component command is. If you go to the schematic tab on the ribbon, edit components panel, click on the down arrow here. Where scoot is, you've got a line there. And if you hover over it, like so, it shows you a little screenshot there of what a line does. Now, this is a line component. So it's AE align. You can see the name of the command at the bottom there. So if you type in AE align, that's the align you should be using, not just the regular align command or the AutoCAD move command. You should use move component as we did previously. Let's just hit escape there to lose that menu and that fly out menu there. What I'm going to do is select RAM01 and just right click. When I do that, I get my little flashlight thing going round. Click on align. It knows that it's going to be a horizontal alignment because this is aligned vertically with the wire. I'm going to select RAM02, RAM03, RAM04. Right click on the mouse or enter on the keyboard. They're all nice and neatly aligned. It's a fantastic tool for tidying up your electrical drawings. They are now perfectly aligned. You don't need to worry about them. It's neat, tidy and precise. Now, I've done that with some relays there. Let's have a look at these terminal connectors underneath. I'll just pan and zoom in. Get that nice and large on the screen so you can see what's going on. Always use your zoom on your mouse. It just makes life so much easier. Saves you squinting at the screen. Zoom in as close as you can within reason so that you can see what you're doing. OK, so we select connector number one there. Right click and align. Horizontal alignment is in place. I'm going to select two, three, and four. You'll notice I selected the numbers there, not the circles. I could have very easily clicked on the wrong component. If you select the numbers, they're still part of the block that makes up the component. Right click to confirm. Now, things have changed a little bit. Terminal connectors are nicely and neatly aligned, but I think we can safely say that the wires aren't aligned anymore. Now, the trick here is just purely to use delete. We're going to remove the wires. So what I'm going to do is zoom in and just click on each wire. I'm going to remove them piece by piece like that. You don't need them anymore. They're all completely out of whack. So we'll delete those like that. And we just go to the wire command, select wire, and we hover. Now my object snap isn't on. Put object snap on because then you get the center snap or the nearest. So if I go nearest, and go to nearest there, puts a nice wire in like that. Wire start, I can click on there again, but notice the O snap goes off each time. So just make sure that you do get the snap. And then it's back to O snap again. And then here. And then there, like that. Now you may need to do a wire renumber, you may need to do a retag, but they're now aligned. And look at how precise and neat your electrical drawing looks. That's how it should be with AutoCAD Electrical. Neat, precise and professional. 